Good morning, everyone. Uh, yeah, I'm doing all the presentations for the Verona group. <laughs> I'm sorry on behalf of, of Professor Massimo Falconi and Professor Claudio Bassi, who couldn't be here due to massive flight cancellation. Um, this is the ID of what we are talking about today, endocrine pancreatic non-functioning tumors. And this is my today agenda. I'm talking about diagnosis and staging of this family of tumors. Um, in general, what's the probability to observe um, non-functional pancreatic endocrine tumor in our clinical practice? It's a low probability. It's, be, it's um, between 0 and 10 percent. But in life, things do change. And also in this setting, things are changing. And if you look at this impressive data from a study made in the USA, uh, the incidence of neuroendocrine tumors has dramatically grown over the years. And now is even more higher than the counterpart, so the incidence of all the malignant neoplasms. Um, when should we think that we are facing an endocrine tumor in case of large masses, 